Oh, and he's overcome adversity, this boy. Missed all of last year and even a bit of the year before. He's had shoulder problems, an ACL, and then he's had a terrific year this year. I'm pretty happy with my year. I'm um, coming in. I missed a lot of time last year with injuries, so I didn't have too many expectations. But overall, this year it's been good to get back and play some consistent footy and get a few good games in. Yeah, so in 2013, I had an injury setback. I hurt my knee and had a knee reconstruction. So I missed a year, and then coming back uh, about two weeks into pre-season, I uh, dislocated my shoulder and then had a, a stabilisation surgery. So yeah, in total, I spent about 18 months in rehab. Missing out on last year's draft was really tough. I had a, a few close friends from Tassie go and get picked up, and I was happy for them. But at the same time, you think that that could have been me. So yeah, it was it was pretty tedious when you're in the gym, sort of doing your rehab, and all the other boys were out training. It, it got to me a few times, but yeah, I just sort of pushed through it. <laughs> The Allies game is fantastic. I play on the MCG on grand final day is every kid's dream, so I got to live, live that dream. And yeah, it was it was a fan, fantastic day. And I think after the game, I was just looking looking around, trying to take it all in. So hopefully, I get to play on the MCG again one day. Do you want a great mark? That is wonderful mark. Got a bit of confidence from it, I guess. It was um, yeah, it was it was nice to take a mark, but yeah, I went back and missed the set shot, so yeah, it wasn't worth too much. My favourite footy memory would be yeah, under 13's grand final when we yeah, won, won a premiership. It was, so yeah, I'd have to say that for sure. When I was about uh, seven years old, I always just liked kicking the footy around with Dad and that. And then he um, just sort of pushed us to play footy, so yeah, I got into it like that, and ever since I've just loved it every minute of it. Outside of footy, I usually like to say go fishing and I hang out with my mates as well as got a, a, a part-time job in a bar, so yeah, it takes up most of my time. If they slap it through, they're more than a goal down. Well distracted goals! The hero growing up was Daniel Wells from North Melbourne. I, when I was about six years old, I sent a letter off to him uh, with a footy card and he, and he replied to sign the footy card for him, so I've loved him ever since. This is the modern day prototype, is it not? Hibbard's height, 191 centimetres and 85 kgs, and he's 18 or 19 years of age. Tall midfielder or halfback, versatile, he likes to run with the footy and uh, use his foot skills. Uh, my strengths are my clean hands, my kicking ability, and probably my endurance as well. This boy's got a little bit of a bottom belly about him, a little bit of a bottom. So try model my game on Marcus Bottom and Pelly from the Bulldogs, both sort of tall midfielders, as well as uh, I try and take things out of Nat Fife's game, like his contested marking. Caught on to trust his skills and trust Nat Fife! Bold! <laughs> Trust he's going to do that. I bring to an AFL club just the willingness to work hard, uh, leave no stone unturned, and hopefully just uh, just a good bloke in general. The draft, um, it's real exciting. Uh, I'm just trying to embrace everything and take it all in. Um, yeah, hopefully I get an opportunity. So um, yeah, just looking forward to it.